Right peeps, I am at a pure gym. I know, not in a garage gym. So what am I gonna be doing today? Well, actually today I'm gonna to be doing something very, very different. I can never remember which side my camera's on. So sorry if I'm looking there and there and there. I'm gonna be doing a whole workout, which is probably, as you know, not very long, but about 45 minutes to an hour, just on fixed weight equipment. I don't think I've ever done a single workout without using a dumbbell or a barbell, or certainly not in about three decades. So this is just gonna be going through, I'm gonna be reviewing some gym equipment that they have, as well as that just using resistance equipment. Fixed weight, Christ almighty, this is gonna be difficult. Sorry for the pause, but I'm literally getting a beta aniline buzz. And you probably, if you've had pre-workout before, you'll know what I mean. My face is on absolute fire at the moment. Jesus. But there we go. I regress. Right. So it's going to be pure gym, resistance equipment only, no free weights, no cables, no nothing. Bit of a review on it as well. So let's get going. So this is what a lonely walk to a pure gym looks like. Now I have to remember to see if I remember what my code is. Probably won't do, but there we go. Celevy. Okay, so always get stared at in <laughs> pure gym whenever you put a camera on. But so first bit of gym equipment today I'm gonna to be using would be the Pec Fly, which also doubles up as a rear delt. But I'm gonna be using the Pec Fly, so let's get going. Do I like this machine? Yeah, it's hard piece of machine. It's good. Let's get going. <laughs> so funny. So I do like this machine. Actually, one of the good things about these machines are they've got these QR codes on there as well. So you can click on that and see exactly how to use it, which helps those people that haven't got a bloody clue. Let's go. Right, hopefully you can all hear me over the really dire library music. So we are now on the bicep curl machine, as you can see. Well, you can see that in reverse. Let's quickly switch that around. There we go. So now you can see I'm on the bicep machine. So, do I like this? I don't like the state of the bloody upholstery, but it's all right, to be honest with you. God, give me a strict bicep curl, give me cable curls, anything but this. But let's go anyway, see what we do. To be honest with you, it's a half decent exercise. You can. Hi, mate. Sorry. It's not usually that you get a personal trainer asking you how many sets you've got there. But there we go. Told him I had two, very honest. And I have got two. So let's crack on with the two I've got left. Okay, peeps, so now onto the tricep extension machine. Again, in reverse, tricep extension. So, half decent bit of kit. I'll show you exactly how to use it in a second. I'll move the camera over. But it's all right, quite like this. Again, like everything, give me a cable, <laughs> give me something else. It's a hell of a lot more effective. But, there we go. It's a fixed weight machine, it's a start machine. It's, it's what you do. Right, I'll show you how it works in just a sec. Right, let's play a game of how many people are gonna walk past this camera while I'm videoing. <laughs> right, here we go. So that's the tricep pull down machine I'm talking about now. So let's give you a little bit of a demo, shall we?
days. So what a resistance machine does allow you to do is quickly change weights. So you don't have to go and jump onto another dumbbell. Quickly change over cables. So it's a quick, quick transition. And again, there's only one plane of movement. So for beginners, intermediates, resistance equipment is absolutely spot on. Because again, it needs no core strength. Or very little core strength, you know what I mean? And also, the movement's worked out for you. This is an alright machine, but give me cables, anything else, bar this. But, I said, for beginners, all good. Okay, here we go. So, seated dip. Again, apologies, reverse camera angle. But seated dip, half decent machine. Let me show you what it looks like. So... You'll get a better view when I'm actually using it. But to be honest with you, this is all decent. But what you'll find on a lot of other gyms is there's usually some kind of belt or a strap to keep you in the seat. But if you're going heavy, which I can do because I've got quite strong triceps, your body weight's lifting up. So it's an all right machine, but just not ideal in its current form, which is without that seat belt I talked about. But I'll show you how it works right now. Okay, now I do have fairly strong triceps. However, what I would say is, I think my six-year-old daughter could probably stack that machine. Need more weights, need more weight stacks on that. Put it down the bottom, could have gone all day. And I think so could probably most people. So, all right, half decent movement. Put more weight on the stack, people. Okay, people, so the next machine I'm gonna be using is a seated row. Okay, so again, I do like the way that they've got these on. This would be really good for people that don't know the movement. So people can literally just click on that and away you go. Probably shows you on your phone exactly what to do. But here's the seated row. So again, you've got standard row and also come in the inverted grip as well. But half decent, I've never used this machine before in Pure Gym. So we're gonna use it now. Okay, cool, so a half decent exercise actually. It's quite good, I like that. So you can certainly feel that in your back. As I said, there's a variety of grips there as well that you can do that really helps. And actually, what was I? Probably half, three quarters down the weight stack there. That was decent for a set of 10. So seated row, definitely one of the better ones I think. Damn sight better than bicep curls. Peck fly enjoy. That seat your dip is all right, but sort the weight stack. Tricep extension all right as well. So for a beginner, these machines are half decent. They are, and they'll get you around and you can work most of your kind of body parts, <laughs> muscle groups, body parts, muscle groups, but yeah, all good. Right, I'm gonna do another couple of sets on that seated row, then we'll move on to the next, see you in a sec.
just stop saying cables are better, dumbbells are better, barbells are better. Of course they bloody well are. But seated row, half decent machine, it was alright. What are we gonna go on to next? I feel like I want to stay on back. I think I'm gonna to go to their lap pull down machine now, let's go. Right, we're now on to the lap pull down. That does say lap pull down just for you guys, like usual, in reverse. So, half decent kit. Actually, this is quite a decent machine. I've used this one before, but usually just to finish a back session off. But, as you can see, half decent. I'm gonna show you exactly how it works, <laughs> like you guys don't know. But let's put you here so you can see behind the machine and then we'll get a set in, shall we? Let's go. way too light <laughs> Jesus Christ see look even three quarters of the way down the step I mean I haven't got the strongest back in the world but that's far too easy so let's go almost right down to the bottom see if it's any easier but well, it won't be any easier dickhead Jesus see how much harder let's call it harder shall we right let's get going So as you would imagine, harder, but seeing as there's that three quarter down the stack, I thought it would have been a lot harder. Right, I'm gonna move on to a bit of chest. Surprise, surprise. Okay, so you'll have to excuse the horrible music in the background. Some kind of really cheap British Airways freaking just before you board a flight music. Sorry for any people that work for British Airways. Right, chest press has now been used. As you see, it's one of the most popular, so I have moved on to prone leg curl. Okay, so what does that look like? It looks like a prone leg curl, and it's for, as it shows here, for your calves and your hamstrings. So as you know, I'm absolutely partial to a prone leg curl. Just got one for the garage gym, and absolutely love these to death. So, let me get you out of my face. We'll put you right there. And let's go. I don't use these that often. I don't know what I can lift. So I've literally put half a stack on and then it's bloody easy. So I'm having to now drop down even closer. But yeah, this machine I absolutely love to death. As you can see, cast more importantly, working the hamstrings on here as well. So you've got tight hamstrings, want to improve your deadlift, jump onto this bad boy. All right, I've got another set inside and then we're going to see the chest press is ready. Or we might have to go into a leg press or a leg extension. Let's see.
leg press has just come through, so I'm going to jump on that in a sec. All right, so somehow I found myself on the converging chest press. That's happen sooner or later. So, actually, is this a decent bit of kit? Mm, yes, it is. I've used this before. Again, just to finish off the chest session, but decent bit of kit. What I like about this bit of kit actually is you can change handle angle and everything as well so you can almost go incline to flat not decline but incline to flat which is all good and again it's telling you it's hitting your triceps all it's hitting your triceps hitting your delts and also hitting your chest as well so this is all good but let's chat let's get going Okay, so a decent piece of kit, all good, and because it is converging, as it comes up to the top, your arms are coming in, so converging on each other. So actually, very close to the kind of movement that you would perform using a dumbbell on a flat bench, which is all good. So, not just because it's chest, but this is one of my faves, alongside probably that seated rower line. That's probably about it at the moment, and potentially that lateral pull down as well. Quite like that lateral pull down. But let's go on to the next bit of kit. Okay, here we go. So, we've gone from a converging chest press where your arms are coming in to a diverging lat pull down. Sorry, reverse again. But diverging, which means as you pull down, they come out. So, you're working on the lats, as I've shown you, working your lats. To a certain extent biceps but again depending on the grips you can bring more biceps in or just keep it lats and roms so what does this machine look like let me show you so that is diverging lat pull down and this is actually one of my favorites and i do use this quite a lot not just as a finisher but actually during my workout because as you can see these handles move around so although they're all coming off the same pivot point to a certain degree stronger arm doesn't compensate for the weaker one so yeah this is one of my favorite bits of resistance equipment so let's put you where you need to be so you can see what's happening and then we'll get crack a lack in let's go
So as I said, one of my more favoured bits of resistance equipment, but fixed weight, should I say, but decent. Just showed you two grips there. One lats roms, the other one with that reverse handle here, bringing in a lot more bicep. But yeah, one of my more favoured and one that I probably would introduce into a back workout instead of just using it as a finisher or if I've got two minutes to spare before I want to go home. All good, let's move on to the next. Okay, so now back onto the rear del pec fly. So right at the beginning of the video was doing what pec fly, now we're gonna do rear del. It's exactly the same thing. It's just an adjustment and changeover of handles. So let's get this going on. Again, this is a half decent exercise. Me, myself, I think there's far better exercises to be had. I won't say it, you know what I'm gonna say. It's a decent exercise for those people starting out, but can be really, really good as well. If used correctly, for good, not evil. Right, peeps, uh, had leg press, had leg extension to do, but they've been used. They are well used. They need to get two of each of them. Ridiculous, always, always used. So no video would be completely pure gym without the inner and outer thigh. Now I'm not gonna do the outer thigh, I'm gonna do the inner thigh though. So just in case any of you said, oh Barry, you skipped that. Why didn't you do that, are you embarrassed? Yeah, I am, but I'm still gonna do it. So what you don't do is I see people doing videos of this. And you can't look someone in the eye while they're splitting their legs, whether they're female or male. So, you can watch me do this, but certainly not with eye contact. And put the tissues away as well, for God's sake. Right, let's go. Right, for any of you that are really interested to know what I was working there. Those muscles just need a crotch. Right, I'm now gonna do a set of outer, which work muscles near your bum. Okay, let's go. Right, I do, as I said, have leg press, leg extension, and calf raise to do as well. I'm gonna quickly just show you over there they're always used and they're probably going to be on there for a long time and I don't want to be in Pure Gym any longer. So that is me done. So you can escort me out of Pure Gym now. And I'm going home. That was a resistance workout. Hmm. Questionable. Now I'm not going to show you putting in my code. Because then I'll get banned because all you buggers nicking my code. Okay, right. So we're now outside of Pure Gym. So that was about 45 minutes going around there, resistance equipment. Was that enjoyable? Hmm. Give me dumbbells, give me barbells any day. But one thing I would certainly say is, actually, do you know something? From people starting out in a gym, jump onto there. It's bloody, cost next to no money. Take your own music, because their music is horrendous. Horrendous. And I think they're savvy. They know that actually, do you know something? People listen to their own music these days. So, yeah, let's not be silly about it. But other than that, that was a half decent workout. Although it's a little bit around the houses and full body workouts, so not my usual. 
But do you know something? It was a little bit different. And actually, now I've used some of that kit, I might use it to finish off a few kind of muscle groups. But as I said, there's a few that I might actually intertwine into programs as well. But that's all me done. So like, subscribe, comment. If you're a pure gym user, let me know what your thoughts are behind it and what your favorite bits of kit are. And we'll go from there. Ariba Dirty, everyone.